Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the world's biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And we've got one for you today. A true legend and a star who was born with God-given ability. He's the soul jazz singer, Gregory Porter. He's got a new album out called Take Me to the Alley, and it is delicious. Gregory, how are you? I'm great, man. Thank you. I'm glad to be with you. Do you know, it must be so wonderful to be you, to have a talent's one thing, but to seemingly come from nowhere, although you've been doing it for years, and then be loved by literally everyone, is such a rare gift. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's been an extraordinary journey. Um, the UK has been, you know, first and foremost, you know, almost like a family for me. And then, you know, the, the energy has been spread, spreading around the world. And, and uh, you know, Liquid Spirit was, it was an amazing uh, phenomenon and it continues to, 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 to be very important in my musical life. But uh, I have the new record. Uh, take me to the alley, and I'm just just really thankful to to keep to keep doing my thing. Yeah. Do you know what I love? In a world where we've got Justin Bieber tweeting his private parts for publicity, you don't get involved in any of that shenanigans. You just stand on a stage with a microphone and sing. And I know it's old school, but isn't it refreshing that you can still sell tons of album and fill out huge venues just by pure talent? I love that. I think that's the the most. Uh, uh, pleasing thing for me about my career is that I didn't try to have a formula or or shape myself to you know or you know put on you know tight yellow jeans I had even though I like tight yellow jeans um, <laughs> I didn't do it in, in order to to achieve you know success with with with, with the public um, I came organically and they accepted me organically and I think it's the, the 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 authentic nature in which I come to the audience, I think, is what what brought about my success. I'm I'm not trying to be anybody else but me. I'm not trying to write in any different other way than 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 like myself. And so, yeah. And it's interesting. You came up the route of jazz and soul and gospel and musical theater. And isn't it interesting that those disciplines are all about the art, not the glory? I mean, you play for the music, don't you, really? Not the round of applause. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many great voices um, that I grew up singing that never recorded one note for anybody to listen to. And so I'm humbled. Uh at the fact that that people all around the world want to listen to my my songs and my messages, I'm taking it, lyrically. I'm I'm taking from many times. I'm taking from you know these these you know motherly messages that came from from uh, my dear mother and and uh, yeah. and my life experiences with with my big family, of, you know, five boys and three girls, and and just the experiences that I've that I've had over time, and and it and it. It, it goes through a synthesis and it comes out as, as songs. And so, yeah. I've got two favorite songs on this album for two very different reasons. Don't Be a Fool, I Think the Harmonies in That Are Just Glorious. And it's such a beautiful lyric. But then we look at uh, More Than a Woman and that line you say about she never turned water into wine, but she made my blind eyes see. It's so glorious and it's so literal. It's so beautiful and simple. That's really the key, isn't it? You don't have to be a smart ass to have a great song. Right, right, right. I, I, for me, the... Um Sometimes it's, it can be most difficult to, to make something simple and accessible. Um, I, I want people to understand the, the message and the depth of, 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 of importance uh, of, of the miracle of love um, that, that I received, yes, from, from my mother, but really from, from the, the magic of all of, of the women that have been in my life to, to make me in a way feel supernatural in a way. And so I, I, yeah. I, think, I think, yeah, you know, love can make you feel that way. And so, yeah. I need your help with this, Gregory, because I'm a deeply unattractive man. What's it like to be sexy? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you. <laughs> no, I tell you, I, I, you know, I, I, I laugh at that at, at the, 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 a description like that. But uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, people people are moved uh, by the voice and 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 mm. by the ability to sing, and and sometimes they they think it's sexy, and and uh, you know, hey, I, I love that. It, you know, it, it can't hurt. <laughs> Well, it seems to me when I read about your past and who influenced you, I know the great Nat King Cole and people like that you loved, but then there's a sort of Barry White element to you in that low register where yeah. it just touches people, doesn't it? Do you know what you're doing? Is that intentional or is that just something you were born with? 
The funny thing is I had bronchitis for six months and I coughed for six months and that that gave me that lower register that we speak of. I wasn't actually born with that. I used to sing just very high. My voice was a lot higher than it, it is now. Mm-hmm. So let's, we, let's thank uh, six months of, of, of bronchitis coughing. I'll make a note of that. I must get ill to sound better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, the, the lyric and the emotion is what brings about that, uh, that low note or that, uh, that, uh, that, that timbre of, of, of emotional depth because um, it, it requires that sound. And, and so that's what people are responding to. Is is the, the genuine emotion of of what it is that I'm trying to say? I'm not trying to sing a uh, a, a, a a low note to make somebody tingle. It, that's a byproduct of of the emotion that's in the song. Yeah. Well, I'm sat here tingling now, Gregory. I, I can't pay you a greater compliment. You know what's amazing about this new album, Take Me to the Alley, is available now, and it's the second to hit the charts, both at the same time. Congratulations on that. The only uh, artist to do that this year other than Adele, which is a remarkable achievement. I I wonder whether it goes back to your family and your roots that you're able to create this type of music because the sentiment within it is so great. But there's a a massive heart, isn't there? And and it's meaningful and purposeful. I guess that's deliberate. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come from the things that I care about. About that, that that means something to me. The things that that move me uh, emotionally and and uh, the the personal is 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 universal. I think uh, you know we, we live in very different places and very different environments. But you and I have some commonality and some points in our life in our relationships. And so you can identify to the same uh, pains and triumphs that I have. And so I try to find those places. Uh, that 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 where we where we can agree on and, and and sing about it, yeah. You've got to have a gimmick, and I guess your iconic look, which is in all of those pictures that everybody recognizes instantly, may not have been deliberate on your part, but it's worked a treat, hasn't it? Because you're instantly recognizable. It does. It's, um, sometimes when I'm late for a plane in the airport, and and. Uh, People recognize my hat, and sometimes they they grab me around the neck for a selfie. No, I love it. I love it. But when I'm late for a plane, you know, <laughs> sometimes it can be complicated. And I don't turn anybody down. I, you know, I love the people. You know, mm-hmm. they put me here. They buy the records. You know, they bought my house, and so I, I appreciate it. Um, you know, when when I when the p- people want a, a a picture of you, I, I really do. But but um. Yeah, the, so, oh, oh, my, my, my iconic look, yeah. Most people in show business put on a hat to not be recognized. You have to take yours off not to be recognized. Yeah. When, I, when I go to the beach, when I, when I dive into the ocean, you know, nobody knows who I am. I'm just, you know, I'm just some, some strange man diving into the ocean, you know. Can I talk about the, the downside of your success, which is silly, because how can you have a downside to success? We all dream of having it. But the one thing about your career is that you're so popular around the world, you have to travel. Yeah. Does that get tiring? Is that the worst bit that to be seen by people, you have to be there? And whether that's Asia, Africa, Australia, or America, or here, you've got to get on a plane and get to those venues. You know that can be difficult. That can be taxing on the body. Um, the, the travel is is the difficult. I mean, just the physical part of of getting on a plane, going through the security checks, and you can imagine, you know, you, you know, with with my my lovely hat, um, I get I get stopped quite a bit. Uh, but you know, by security that don't, that don't know me actually. Um, so yeah, that could you know <laughs> that could be a bit, a bit of a drag. But the reward is the stage. The reward is is the audience. The the of even you know I love audiences that have never heard me before or 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 you know you know I, I come to a sold out venue that 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 I haven't in an area that I haven't been to before I, I enjoyed that challenge of yeah. of winning the audience over so it's, yeah what I love too is when we see somebody like Beyonce on stage she has to work so damn hard to impress her audience and my god she's brilliant but you just stand there and open your gob and sing and there they are applauding loving you and grateful for every second isn't that marvelous that just the voice is the act yeah you know the original instrument I think um you know I I, I appreciate uh the 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 natural gifts and and the cultivated gifts that I have and uh, I I like the fact that I've I've been able to 
take the, the, the sensitivity of my childhood, which was thought to be a, a deficit, and now I take that and I, and I write and I consider my environment and, and I've made a life for myself with it. And so, you know, I always tell young people, don't, 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 you don't know what it is that you have that you think is, is, is the deficit. It may, it may be some, some sickness or some, some, some part of your personality that you think is a deficit, but it may be something that brings you to great success uh, later on in your life. You never know. Let this thing play out and see what happens. You know, people used to always say, oh, you always, you know, you got your head in the clouds thinking about, you know, other people's problems and so much empathy, so much damn empathy. But I think it's that empathetic way that I have that, that allows me to write uh, a message that, you know, that moves me and, and you know, with liquid spirit moved, you know, over a million people. So I'm, 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 I'm thankful for it. What a life and an achievement. Seven brothers and sisters, what do they make of it? You're just little Gregory at home and now you're an international megastar. Does that ever become yeah. normal? Yeah, 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 so funny. They used to tell me to shut up when I was little. You know, <laughs> I, I, quit, quit, say, quit harmonizing with the radio. Shut up. <laughs> but, but you know, so now when you know they, they they call me, it's like you know, hey, hey, brother, you know, uh, I know those royalty checks are coming. Uh, you know, <laughs> who's paying for this dinner? Keep smiling. <laughs> yeah, they they don't pay for dinner anymore. But it's fun. I enjoy. I moved back uh, to my hometown too to share my life uh, mm-hmm. with them. And so, it's, and, and you know, I'm, I'm writing about them, you know? It's, you know, so yeah. And I guess for you now, traveling the world is amazing. We look at that concert you just did for the BBC. I think it was Hyde Park, somewhere like that. Tens of thousands of people. Does that ever become normal when you're stood there, just little old you singing your tunes in your way and they're loving it? Is there any way of describing that feeling? Yeah, that's not normal. No, it's, it's, um, it's, it's extraordinary to me and it's still, it, you know, it's, it, you know, I pinched myself, you know, I was, I, um, you know, the performance for the, 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 the day of, of, of remembrance, uh, at the Royal Albert Hall with the, with the queen in, in her box. And that was just an extraordinary experience. And I was pinching myself. I was like, how did I get here? And that feeling that people who are much more famous than you think you are know you, that's another strange feeling, isn't it? Yeah, I'm standing next to Rod Stewart, and he's like, yeah, man, I like your song. It's amazing. Not just that, but the power and energy that was in the room and the powers that be saw it fit that I be there. Well, all I can tell you is you can't buy that. The public decide whether they love you or they don't. And in your case, they adore you and deservedly so. Gregory Porter's brand new album, Take Me to the Alley, is available now. It is so sensational. You have a gift, my friend. You're so talented. And thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.